In this video, we're going to look at place value. Place value tells us how much each of the digits within a number are worth. So this question says write down the value of the 7 in the number 7258. So what we can do is we can split up this number into its parts. So we can say we've got 7,000 and plus we've got 200 and we've got 50 and we've got 8. So 7,258 means we've got 7,000 plus 200 plus 50 plus 8. So we could say we've got 7,000s. So these are the thousands. We've got 7,000s. We've got 200s. We've got 50, which means we've got 5 tens. 50 is 5 tens. And we've got 8, and that means we've got 8 ones so we've got seven thousands two hundreds five tens and eight ones so the question said write down the value of the seven and that's seven thousand so we could write it as a number seven thousand or we could say we've got seven thousand Okay, here's another question. Write down the value of the 4 in the number 32,407. So again, we can split our number up into its parts. So this time we've got 30,000. And we've got 2,000. And we've got 400. There's nothing in the tens column, so I'm going to leave that. You don't have to write anything. And I've got 7 in the ones column. So I've got 3 ten thousands. So 3 ten thousands. I've got 2 thousands. I've got four hundreds. I've got nothing in the tens. I've got no tens. And I've got seven ones. So write down the value of the four. The four is worth four hundred. So it's a number four hundred, four zero zero. Or in words, I can write four hundred could also write the four in words but either of these answers are okay okay here I've got three questions if you want to pause the video give them a go and press play when you're ready for the answers question one write down the value of the five in the number 856,670. So we should get an answer of either 50,000 or we could write in words, we could write 50,000 as 50,000 or we could write 50,000 all in words, any of these answers are okay. Write down the value, question two, write down the value of the three in the number 61,039. So we should get 
3's in the tens column. So we've got 3 tens, which is 30. 3 tens or 30. Question 3. Write down the value of the 4 in the number 19,407. So the 4 is in the hundreds column. So it's worth 400. Or 400. Or 4 in words 100. Okay, now we're going to look at going from words into figures. So we've got write the number 9,542 in figures. So if we write this down bit by bit, so if we've got 9,000, that's 9,000. Zero, zero, zero. So we've got the thousands column, then the hundreds then the tens, then the ones. So 9,000 is nine with three zeros after it. 500 is five with two zeros after it. We've got the ones, the tens, and then the hundreds. We've got 40, that's four zero, 40 is four zero, and we've got two, which is just two. So we're going to add these together and that will be our answer. So we've got 9,540 and 2. And in the thousands column, we've got a 9. In the hundreds column, we've got the 5. In the tens column, the 4. And in the ones column, the 2. So there we've got 9,542. Write the number 20,387 in figures. So 20,000, 20, 20,000s. So 20,000. That's two 10,000s. So we're in the ten thousands column here, then we've got the thousands column, the hundreds column, the tens column, and the ones column. So that's two ten thousands, three hundreds, so three in the hundreds column, eighty, which is eight tens, and seven. So in the ten thousands column, we've got a two. We've got nothing in the thousands column, so we're going to put a zero there. We've got three in the hundreds, eight in the tens, and seven in the ones. So that's 20,387. Okay, we've got three questions here. Press Pause, have a go at the questions, and then press play when you're ready for the answers. Okay, question one. Write the number 21,065 in figures. So we've got 21,000. So that means we've got two 10,000s. 21,000s, we've got two 10,000s, so two in the 10,000 column, and one in the thousands column, 21,000 in total, and we've got 60, so six in the tens column, and five, so 20 in 20,000, 21,065, so we've got a two in the 10,000 column, or one in the thousands column, there's nothing in the hundreds column, so we're going to put a zero there, and six in the tens, and five in the ones. Question two, write the number 
837 in figures. So that's five in the thousands, five thousand, eight in the hundreds, eight hundreds, three in the tens for 30, and seven in the ones. So five, eight, three, seven. 5,837. Write the number 110,912 in figures. So we've got 110,000. So that's 100,000. So that's one in the 100,000s column. And 10,000. So one in the 10,000s column. We've got nothing in the thousands column. We've got nine hundreds and twelve. Twelve. So twelve is a one in the tens column and two in the ones. So that's one in the hundred thousands, one in the ten thousands. We've got nothing in the thousands. So we put a zero there. Then we've got 912, so one in the tens and two in the ones. 110,912.